Hello there, eager home buyers. Are you ready to embark on an exciting journey into the mystical realm of pre-approval? My name is Jackie Veloce from Encore Real Estate, and I'm about to take you on a thrilling ride through the ins and outs of the oh-so-crucial pre-approval process. I'll guide you through the maze of finding a suitable lender, the realm of financial documents you will need, and the evaluation process undertaken by those wizardly lenders. But wait, there's more. By the end of this video, you'll not only be equipped with the comprehensive understanding of the pre-approval process, but you'll also gain a competitive edge in the real estate arena. So get ready to absorb the knowledge you'll need. Join me in the pre-approval adventure where we will unlock the secrets of pre-approval and navigate the tricky waters of buying a home to get you ahead of the game. Let me help teach you a better way to real estate. So let's begin learning all about the pre-approval process. Step one of the pre-approval process is the quest for a lender. Now you might think your own personal bank is the obvious choice, like a comfortable old pair of sweatpants, but hold on. Did you know that there's a whole world of lenders out there just waiting to help get you a loan? Here's the deal. Big name banks aren't the only players in town. Oh no, 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 no. There are lenders out there who are like hidden secret gems. These lending wizards offer different programs at different times of the year, offering a clearance sale for specific types of home buyers, like first time home buyers, veterans, or even those with not so perfect credit can find their knight in shining armor amongst these lesser known lenders. So this is my personal advice. Go ahead, contact your bank, and while you're at it, contact two or three different lenders and compare their pre-approval offers. Think of it as shopping for car insurance, where you have to make the phone calls, gather the quotes, and choose the ones that won't make you bankrupt. Nobody wants to pay a fortune for car insurance or a loan, am I right? Oh, but wait, here's another secret tip that you may not already know. If you already have a realtor in mind, give them a call. They're like a real estate matchmaker connecting you with lenders they trust and have worked their magic with in the past. It's like getting a recommendation from your best friend about that amazing taco truck down the street that serves mouth-watering guacamole. Trust is key. So make sure to contact multiple lenders, channel your inner bargain hunter, and find the loan that'll make your heart sing. Your dream home awaits and a trusted lender will be your greatest helper on this exciting journey of home ownership. Step two of the pre-approval dance is gathering your financial documents. This is when you go on the wild goose chase for pieces of paper that hold the key to your loan kingdom. Not many people enjoy this step because the job of finding paperwork can be grueling. I know, but it's necessary. First, you'll need to hunt down your proof of income, which includes pay stubs, W-2 forms, and even tax returns. It's like saying, hey, I'm a responsible adult who earns money and pays taxes. Next up, you will need to obtain your bank statements, which can easily be found online, especially if you're online bank. Two months is pretty much all you will need. These are snapshots of your savings and assets. They're like the paparazzi of your financial life capturing every single penny you've stashed away and every extravagant coffee shop purchase you've made. Next up, it's time to prove your employment stability. This says to lenders, look at me, I've got a steady job and won't disappear into the Bermuda Triangle of unemployment. So you'll need to gather those em employment pay stubs. Finally, you will need documentation of the list of your existing debts, such as student loans, credit cards, and auto loans. They all need to be accounted for. This is where you lay out your financial skeletons on the table and say, here they are, judge me if you must. Don't worry, we've all got a few skeletons in our financial closets. So in the end, do yourself the biggest favor and gather those pay stubs, W-2 forms, and tax returns, bank statements, employment proof, and debt lists. Conquer the paperwork challenge and move one big step closer to that dream home by getting yourself pre-approved. Step three is the lender evaluation. After you provide the lender with the necessary financial documents, the lender will then evaluate them. During this stage, the lender reviews your financial documents, performs a credit check, 
and assesses your debt to income ratio. Your debt to income ratio, or DTI for short, is a number that compares how much you owe each month to how much you earn each month. The lender looks at this number like an algebra professor, wondering if your finances add up or if you're drowning in a sea of debt. The lender evaluation process typically could take one to a few business days, and to some people, one to a few business days can feel like an eternity, especially when you're eagerly awaiting that green light to proceed. In the end, there are only two things that can happen from here. Either your lender will grant you a pre-approval, yay, or they will tell you the specific reasons why they can't, like late payments on credit cards or a defaulted student loan from five years ago or whatever. Hey, at least you know what needs to be corrected so you could jump quickly on fixing it. And now we have arrived at the grand finale, the significance of pre-approval. Let's unveil the five key reasons why pre-approval is a must. First is budget bliss. Pre-approval gives you the power of knowing your budget. No more wandering through mansions you can't afford or settling for a shoebox when you could have had a castle. Budget bliss is within your grasp. Second is you're the real deal. When you're pre-approved, it's like screaming, I'm serious about buying a home. You've proven to the world and to sellers that you're not just playing make-believe. You're a real contender in the real estate game. Seller sees you as a serious buyer who can make the deal happen. Third, you have the power to negotiate. Having pre-approval gives you an upper hand in negotiations when making an offer. Sellers are more inclined to take your offer seriously because they know you have already gone through the steps to secure financing. This increased confidence in your financial readiness can strengthen your position and improve your chances of a successful offer acceptance. Fourth, a pre-approval allows for a faster closing process. Getting pre-approved speeds up your loan approval and closing of your mortgage. When the lender has already examined your financial documents, they can proceed with processing your loan application much more faster. This especially is advantageous in competitive real estate markets where there are many offers on sought after properties. By having pre-approval, you increase your chances of a swift and smooth transaction. Finally, the fifth most important for reason for pre-approval is to find potential cost savings. With pre-approval, you can explore various mortgage terms and interest rates to find the best options available. By comparing offers from different lenders, you could potentially save a significant amount of money over the duration of your mortgage. This means thousands of dollars in potential savings that can greatly impact your long-term financial situation. I'll talk more about shopping around for a loan in my next video, which I have linked in the description below. In summary, whether you're new to buying homes or experienced in the process, obtaining pre-approval for a mortgage is a crucial step. It provides you with confidence, sets you apart from other buyers, and simplifies the home buying journey. Take the proactive approach, get pre-approved, and embark on your exciting path to becoming a homeowner. Please don't forget to like this video if you find it informative, and if you have any questions, please write them in the comments section below. I would love to learn new ways to help others to a better way to real estate in the future videos.